What up, it's your girl, Minna, and in this video, we are doing part two of our three-part series of how to apply powder foundation. In the first video, you saw me use a powder foundation with regular foundation, like liquid foundation, and then put the powder foundation on top from Fenty Beauty by Rihanna. In this video, I'm going to do it a little bit differently. This is not a way that I normally do it. So in the first video, that is my normal baseline of how I do my makeup. So that came to me very naturally. This is gonna be a little very strange, and I almost foresee it kind of going like the five minute, 10 minute, what was it? The makeup challenge that I did, you gotta watch that video, it's hilarious. I'll link it below. This is gonna be a little bit of a challenge for me because it's unusual. And I mentioned before in a different video that when I do things that are out of the ordinary for me, like I, like you know the steps being different or just like the procedure of how I do my face being different, it just, it goes awry. It goes awry a little bit, okay? So let me get the products done. <laughs> So I have the products. Make sure you watch that first video to get the context of what I'm talking about. Now, I don't know how this is gonna come out and I have other things that I need to do after I film this. And this is a challenge of doing stuff like for the first time or trying something new. When you have something else you wanna do afterwards, you're like, please behave. Please come out the way I'm hoping it comes out, which is bomb. This is a scar from, or you know, a boo-boo. <laughs> I burned myself when I was trying to flat iron my wig a little bit. Okay, with the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna powder foundations, this is 450. I have 430 that I thought was gonna work for me, but it's not going to. I I could highlight my under eye with this, but I'm not sure. I'm gonna see. To get 390, and my intention with this is to highlight under my eyes. Now, I'm gonna be highlighting with the powder by itself. I'm gonna be doing my face with the powder by itself. I don't know what that's gonna mean for the longevity of it. I don't know a lot about this. I'm a little bit concerned. Okay, this is supposed to be really matte, so I'm not going to prime my face like I did in the other video because I used the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation. I am gonna still prime my lips. This is the e.l.f. Cosmetics Lip Primer. I always use this. If you always see me using something on my lips, it's the e.l.f. Cosmetics Lip Primer. This is a lock-on lip primer. Don't get the other one that's a two-sided one. This is just one-sided. Done my skincare, that's always a must. That's an everyday, every morning type of thing. Never ever skin Get that if you want to have great skin. Okay. Ah! 450 is the color that I use in the liquid foundation, the soft matte liquid. I'm going to do my face first because <sighs> oh, this is just so strange. Now, I normally apply my powder foundation with a fluffy brush because I look for a more not as much of a heavy finish when I'm applying it because I put this on on top of foundation, liquid foundation. I don't need it to be heavy and jam packed, but you will still see it. Because I have nothing on my face, doing it with a powder brush, a fluffy brush like this, isn't going to give me what I need. Now, you do see coverage, right? You do see coverage, it looks really good, but I would be here all day doing this. And that's why knowing what type of brush in what situation is really important. No one has time to be sitting here doing all this. Although I have to say, wow, looking at it, it looks really good. <laughs> Oh, this looks good. Hi, hello. I ain't got time to be doing all that. So when I want to really pack on the product, let me just use this. I have a wider one. I don't know where it's at, but I'm gonna use this Sephora number 70 Pro Foundation Brush. It's a small round brush. Typically, I want something bigger to cover more space quickly. That's really what this is about when it comes to this. Now, I'm using it on, in a powder, which is really strange. So I'm, I'm gonna like wipe, right? We're not getting fallout because there is foundation. Uh, a little bit of fallout, okay. There is foundation in this, but the key is I really just wanna pack it on. So that really picked up the product, <laughs> okay? And that's the key because I want this to be like a full coverage situation. Now, I suppose if you don't want it to look full coverage, you could just stick with, oh, this looks good. Wow. You could just stick with doing it with the brush. Honestly, if you want it to be a little bit sheer, I want full coverage. Not to say like, I'm not gonna do this again outside of this video because it's taken me forever. <laughs> like, I don't, you know, like, maybe I should go back with the brush. But you, you get it though. You're getting more packed on more quickly when you're using a flat kabuki type brush versus the powder brush. But it did look really good with the powder brush though. Maybe I should use the powder brush. Let me go back to the powder brush. It did look really, really good. Yeah, okay, I'm back to the powder brush. <laughs> if you're gonna do this, I do recommend the brush because it just it just like goes on better and more smooth looking. Wow, this is looking more red than, by itself, this is red. And 450, the foundation, is not this red. On the camera, I'm getting red. There's something happening here. I would be here all day doing this. Yeah, okay. I'm back to the flat kabuki, right? Like, oh heck no, I would never do this. 
what i look so red like the coverage looks good okay we ain't we don't dispute that i mean wow like like the finish of it is gorge but do you wear like do you just walk outside i mean like, where's my sponge oh, bless God. would i use the sponge too many things happening right now okay let me do the wipe with the sponge and gather some of this why isn't it picking up it's not picking up like all around like i need okay well i can definitely see it wow now this is usually good for touch-ups although i know that there are people who use this to apply their product just like i'm doing it right now so this is obviously another option as to how you apply it but again things that i would never do <laughs> this is one of them i mean i would never do this i mean even if you're someone that does your makeup in the car or on the go like would you want to be would you want to be pressing it on like this i would put I don't, i'm just used to liquid so okay let me get this side because of my blemishes and just in general i want an even coverage you know oh god i mean it looks good it's just weird to me i exfoliated this morning but i feel like i need, I need to do more and yeah, i need to exfoliate more right here oh god <laughs> Oh, a lot of things going uh, a little awry. Again, yeah, this is really mad. What? <sighs> okay, the coverage is not even. I don't see how the coverage could be even using the powder brush, using the flat kabuki brush, or using the sponge. It's on my face, but I don't see even coverage like I normally would. This is dry. Uh, it's matte the way it's supposed to be. I mean, it feels like skin. It doesn't feel like powder. <sighs> All right, now we're gonna do the under eye. Now when it comes to under eye, I don't even know what brush I should use because I do wanna pack it under my eye. I'm gonna use the 390 color right here. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna use the 390 color. I don't think I'm gonna like this look. I think I'm gonna wash this off. This is not gonna work for me. So I'm taking 390 and getting some fallout, but you know, here we are. Tapping off the excess. Wow, I don't think this is gonna go well. Let me look in the mirror, straighten her foot in the world okay so if you're the kind of person who highlights with powder foundation i mean this is looking good but it's not even i mean i need i need regular foundation under my eye i mean the finish of it is beautiful that i cannot deny like really really beautiful but just by itself like this i can never look i can't <laughs> How? Like, where are we going? Just like this. Uh-uh. Trying to create the illusion of the, you know, when I do my highlight, I get on the side of the nose. <sighs> I guess I would highlight my, uh, I had, I had hopes for this routine. Uh, and those hopes have died, you know, like a dream deferred. I don't know how I would do with the middle of my nose. That, that just won't happen with this with this routine wonderful okay i mean we're giving it our best shot right now like i don't e like in in theory i thought this was gonna do something for the kid but in actuality oh, like the finish is fantabulous you know but ooh. i'm gonna stop right here <laughs> but you get the gist. I love the product. I just don't love it in this fashion. I love it the way I normally do it. So I had another way that I was gonna do it to do the video to make it a part three, but dang gonna be no part three, okay? Because with the other way, what I was going to do was do makeup Sheila did and she put concealer on any areas of her face that were dark to help even things out. And then if I remember correctly, she did this. I can't, I can't recall the video. It's just, this routine is just not for me. Cannot imagine because you you know, I like with the contour. Maybe I should just show you the contour. I'm so turned off that it's just not working for me. If I were to do my contour, which is a bronzer, okay, let's see. I wear the bronze. I still look so orange. So the powder on my whole entire face by itself is just not working for me. Not. I can't. I can't finish this video. I can't finish the, the routine. It's just not going to work out for me. The products are awesome in this fashion. Not for me, but I am going to use 390 to set my under eye and see how I like it because it looks fantastic. I mean, it looks <laughs> amazing, but I definitely need concealer. Definitely need foundation. That's just what my routine is. I like full coverage. Just cover me all up. I'm not into anything else other than that. I'm into 
absolute full coverage and that's why. If you're the kind of person that likes a light coverage, you like to just put a powder foundation on by itself and go from there, then I think that you will enjoy doing your makeup this way. <laughs> Thank you for watching this video. I want you to comment and let me know, do you do your face like this? How do you use your powder foundation? I wanna know. Thanks for watching this video and I'll catch you next time.